Hello again, everyone. Um, let's see, next item on the list of objectives for Revit 2020 is uh, tag components by category. Tagging components by category is very simple. First, let me get rid of these two sectional views, and I'm just going to activate those somehow, and then click the delete button, and, uh, well, save the project, yes. Give it a second, let it think. All right. Well, if I can actually get it to delete. Yes, okay. And then delete and okay. All right, so tagging by category. Um, where is that? Where did it go? It was up here. Okay, maybe I need to go to annotate. So yes, we need to go to the annotate tab, which is right up here on the ribbon or above the ribbon, and then tag by category. And it's very simple. I click on tag by category. All right, and I just simply go around and tag the objects. And what it's doing, as you can see, I've got these two windows, which are exactly alike. And it tagged both of those with the number 13. I got these doors. Now, why it did number 13, I don't know. Probably because I've been in here, you know, placing and unplacing things and stuff like that. Um, now, with the doors, of course, it put a different number on each door because they are two different doors. Um, and uh, that would tag those. So here is our garage doors. And I think garage doors, I think, well, yeah, those are all different as well. Um, one's a flush, one is a uh, well, recess panel or whatever, and then one is a very large uh, door. Um, but that takes care of the windows and doors, but you can also tag your walls, and it's, it's all automatic. I'm not doing anything to change the uh, tag symbol. Um, you know, I am just tagging things like crazy and of course tagging walls there's a little bit more involved as far as numbering and naming your walls um, but uh, the test doesn't go into that that far so let's go ahead and leave it where we got it there but uh, you would tag uh, let's see I can't think of what else you would tag um, you know maybe your roof um, you might have some guttering, tag your gutters uh, and things, but uh, typically doors and windows are what you're after. Now, what that information is used for typically is later on in your project when you actually create your schedule, your door and window schedule, which we will get to later in, in uh, this session of videos. Um, but that would create a list and it would have that number, which is considered our mark. So this would be our mark. 13 will be the mark for these windows and it would place those on a list and it would tell you all the information regarding those uh, such as their size um, uh, rough cut size finished size uh, location things like that okay so that's primarily what that is for okay so that is the end of tagging components by category